fact. I know in Sweden, after the collapse of SVB, their pension fund came under a, a huge amount of stress. Alex, uh, Electa, one of the biggest pensions there, because they had big stakes. This morning we learned that the CEO is going to be departing immediately. But was this pretty much inevitable given what happened with their investments? Well, look, the pressure has definitely been building. And so, yeah, they had a terrible set of investments there were in SVB. They were also in Signature. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they've lost something like 2 billion uh, euros, I think it was, which obviously, you know, pension holders are extremely angry about. And they've the company's been trying to manage it. You know, a few weeks ago, you had the CEO effectively apologising, but you know the anger's been building, and yeah, that sort of sort of local sort of frustration at how this has happened means you know really the CEO ultimately had no choice. In, in terms of other fallout, fall, um, fallouts from the banking sector in the U.S., we're, we're still sort of combing through every piece of data we get when it comes to loans, when it comes to credit, anything like that. I know we got some data out recently, uh, yesterday. Are things more calm yet? It does look like that. So this is the data sort of, I think it's known as the lender of second last resort, basically. It's how banks will tap stuff to sort of ensure a bit more liquidity. And that's really dropped. So that's down to sort of much more normal levels. And it's just the latest piece of information out there which suggests, yes, perhaps the sort of the acute phase of this crisis has passed. You had Jamie Dimon saying that was his sense of things. Mm. And it does look like the data is starting to back that up, that at least these, this big volatility in the US banking is, is starting to move.